I suspect that this is not the first video regarding the ramifications of TikTok that you've seen, yet most of you still haven't downloaded. But wait, you, you're different, right? Your mind couldn't possibly be influenced by the TikTok algorithm since you're self-aware, right? You're different. Or are you just another statistic? Perhaps it's even too late to back out of this. Perhaps you began engaging with new groups of friends, alienated others, and created a completely new identity within the past three years. Ladies and gentlemen, what's occurring to so many impressionable minds is far from coincidental. This is the most elaborate psychological warfare strategy that any nation has ever faced. India and Afghanistan have already banned TikTok, Pakistan has banned and reversed their ban several times, Bangladesh and Indonesia have also banned TikTok in the past, in fact, even the United States was close to permanently banning TikTok, but this executive order has been revoked under the Biden administration. However, even Biden has told reporters, I think that it is a matter of genuine concern that TikTok, a Chinese operation, has access to over 100 million young people, particularly in the United States of America. What you'll here is that TikTok is one of the West's greatest cyber threats because of the overwhelming amounts of information the app collects respective to any other social media app. While this is certainly a massive cause for concern, what often isn't discussed is the psychological impact of the TikTok algorithm that it has on its users. TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, purchased Musical.ly for $1 billion in November of 2017. This resulted in the launch of TikTok in September of 2017. As of recently, TikTok TikTok has amassed over 1 billion users. Considering there's less than 8 billion total people alive today, TikTok's user base is beyond frightening. Why? Yeah, so the BuzzFeed news story has uh, internal communications from TikTok and ByteDance officials, including ones that say everything can be seen in China. And also TikTok itself sent a letter to a number of senators on Friday that for the first time uh, indicated, again, a lot of information going back to Beijing. So it's some of their missions themselves some of those uh, information there that uh, was shared in the BuzzFeed article. In his letter to the chief executives of Apple and Google to remove TikTok from their app stores, FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr says, TikTok is owned by Beijing-based ByteDance, an organization that is beholden to the Communist Party of China and required by the Chinese law to comply with the PCR's, the People's Republic of China, surveillance demands. Keyword there is required. The TikTok private policy says it won't sell personal information to third parties, but reserves the right to use information internally for business development purposes. I believe it is quite clear how vulnerable your information is on TikTok, more so than any other social media, but the threat goes beyond just breached privacy and surveillance. You see, while this is a huge issue, of course, I understand most of you guys have already heard these warnings numerous times. This isn't anything new. However, the primary reason I find it appropriate to bring that up for the purpose of the video is primarily to illustrate the strong connection TikTok and ByteDance has to China, specifically the Chinese Communist Party. The war between capitalist and communist ideologies is far from new. Propaganda and psychological warfare is also far from new. And here we have an app that appears to be innocent on the surface, but in reality is one of the greatest weapons of psychological warfare. Numerous whistleblowers from ByteDance have come out to expose the deliberate and frequent censorship, but it goes far beyond just mere censorship. The algorithm for the TikTok app is completely different than the algorithm used on the China-based TikTok. While TikTok can't even be downloaded in China, citizens in China can download a unique version known as Douyin, which means shaking sound. While the TikTok we know promotes degeneracy, the Chinese version promotes productivity, the importance of the nuclear family, achievements, and much more evidently very positive things, which heavily contrasts with our version of TikTok. The algorithm we see promotes mental illness, so much so that having a mental illness is almost now seen as quirky, becoming part of somebody's identity. We see cheating and single parenthood promoted and celebrated on this app. All meanwhile, the Chinese version of TikTok never promotes those videos. Rather, they promote videos that illustrate the value of the nuclear family, which is a key foundation of a stable civilization found in multiple studies. While we see girls dancing in provocative manners promoting their OnlyFans, the users in 
the Chinese version are seeing people hard at work. So evidently, one aspect of the psychological warfare is contaminating the minds of users outside of China, destroying nations from the inside out, dividing them amongst each other more than ever. But the destruction is only one feature of this massive cyber threat, and you'll see why this is only just the beginning. On the other hand, we have the promotion of communist ideologies. This is quite transparent in the Chinese version of TikTok. There's literally a section called Positive Energy, which directly obviously promotes the Chinese Communist Party. It's in broad daylight. However, while not as obvious on normal version of TikTok that you would use, its presence is certainly immense, although it is much, much more subtle. It was reported that the support for socialism jumped by 10% during the pandemic. 30% of Gen Z has a favorable view of Marxism and 27% of millennials now. This is all meanwhile America has been the center for anti-communism for many decades prior. Furthermore, 74% of Gen Z and 70% of millennials do not see Marxism as a totalitarian state that suppresses the freedom of its citizens. Residents are losing patience after being cooped up at home for more than a month. Night, the echoes of people crying out from their windows for help. This woman's door was kicked in by police when she refused to go to quarantine. Robots patrol some streets, reminding people to wear masks. Over the difficulties in getting food. And poor conditions at central quarantine facilities. And people being forced out of their homes. According to the report, over a quarter, 26%, of all Americans support the gradual elimination of the capitalist system in favor of a more socialist system, particularly 35% of millennials and 30 31% of Gen Z. These significant shifts all began occurring within the last several years alone. TikTok has also seen its meteoric rise in these same years. Of course, there are many other factors at play as well, and it is these factors coupled with the TikTok algorithm and its massive rise in popularity that creates the endless feedback loop of more people promoting the communist ideologies, the algorithm promoting those videos, more users seeing them, then more users posting those types of videos as the cycle goes on on and on. It's a heavily lopsided feedback loop that is being deliberately controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. The scariest part about this form of psychological warfare is that it directly taps into the automatic portion of your brain as you watch these videos. I give a much more in-depth explanation of this in my video regarding what the IAT test is and why so many people still fail it. Here's a clip from that video to help you better understand what I mean. This test is known as the Implicit Association Test, IAT for short. Inevitably, your brain brain stores years of past experiences that you have no way of consciously setting aside when you take this IAT test, hence it is so extremely effective. You might have your doubts though, and that's okay. Without forcing you to take one of the tests that you might be afraid of, I can still prove the effectiveness to you by offering another IAT test that simply involves flowers and insects. I put a link in the description, courtesy of the creators of the book Blind Spot, for this test that you could take after the video is over if you do still have your doubts. The vast majority of people's results will show that they do have a preference for flowers over insects, of course. Often, this IAT test can surprise people regarding the results. This is because there are two facets of the mind, the reflective and the automatic. Our reflective preferences are known to us very well. This can include voicing your religious beliefs, for example. In fact, we could even make very complex statements such as, even though I personally have more to gain by voting for President A, I know that President B is best for the country as a whole and thus I will vote for him. Often, these beliefs can be seen in actions as well. As the psychologist William James stated, the power of conscious thoughts and feelings is to create a particular type of fuel for action. For example, religious beliefs may make you pray or even enlist in the military to defend a religious state. On the other hand, the automatic side of our mind is almost a complete stranger to us. We will implicitly know something or feel something, but even these thoughts and feelings are also reflected in our actions as well. This is why people are often very surprised with their IAT results. What's even more surprising to people is when they find out they are biased against the very group that they are in fact a part of themselves, either mentally or physically. This is called dissociation, and this is precisely what was experienced in the first two examples I provided at the start of the video. Malcolm Gladwell is biracial himself, and his mother, who he loves most, is Jamaican. Hence, he was extremely shocked and even disturbed by the results. This, in fact, is extremely common. Remember, that part of our mind is a complete stranger to us. So, as you can see, it's completely out of your control, and thus, you begin to believe that these ideas are completely your own. You have no idea that the Chinese Communist Party has 
has deliberately skewed this positive feedback loop in its favor. While it's clearly impossible to deny TikTok and ByteDance's bias towards the Chinese Communist Party, perhaps you feel TikTok can't possibly affect your brain to such a degree to change your political views. Well, let's see what else TikTok videos might just be influencing. As I mentioned earlier, TikTok celebrates mental illness. Now, we already discussed how this destroys a society, but there is something else to this as well. I'll explain what I mean soon, but first, let's examine some data. TikTok has spawned this trend of self-diagnosing these mental illnesses, which the algorithm rhythm promotes very heavily. If you peruse the home page or the for you page or for just a few minutes, you'll eventually come across multiple of these types of videos. As of recently, teenage girls are going to the doctor complaining of tics such as jerky movements and verbal outbursts at alarming rates as much as 10 times more often than before the COVID-19 pandemic. Again, that is 10 times more often than before the COVID-19 pandemic. According to a report published on October 19th in the Wall Street Journal, movement disorder doctors were initially baffled by the surge. As doctors from medical institutions in the United States, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom began digging and comparing notes, they discovered a common link in many of the cases. And that link was girls who were reporting to have watched TikTok videos of influencers who also have Tourette's syndrome. Since March 2020, Texas Children's Hospital has reported seeing approximately 60 cases, whereas doctors there saw one or two cases a year before this pandemic. Obviously, a massive difference. A paper in the journal Movement Disorders Clinical Practice in July 2021 found that 19 of the 28 most popular influencers with the condition reported developing new tics as a result of watching other creators' videos. The paper concluded that TikTok tics are distinct from what is typically seen in patients with Tourette's syndrome. Although share many characteristics with functional tics, we believe this to be an example of mass sociogenic illness, which involves behaviors, emotions, or conditions spreading spontaneously through a group. Read that last sentence again if it wasn't clear. In fact, there was even a correlation with some of the girls saying the word beans with a British accent who also had these tics. Not surprisingly, there is a very famous TikToker who frequently posts videos with her tics, which includes saying beans. She has a British accent. Something as severe and extreme as Tourette's tics are spreading to TikTok users from other influencers, some of which even faking their illness for attention and donations. Meanwhile, you still don't believe something as mild as a political perspective could infiltrate the automatic portion of the brain in precisely the same manner? Now, like I promised to explain earlier, in addition to the destruction the celebration of mental illness brings to a society, there is still another sinister reason for this as well. And this is precisely the same sinister reason as why you see the TikTok algorithm heavily favoring content that focuses on gender ideology and critical race theory. You see, gender ideology and critical race theory and mental illnesses all have something in common. These groups perceive themselves as oppressed outgroups, in other words. If you have ever studied Marxism, things might be starting to make a lot of sense to you now. This feeling of being oppressed as a victim in one of these marginalized groups, coupled with the natural human urge to want to find belonging to some kind of group, the fact that so many people are in need of direction and purpose, is a combination that could provoke uprising in civilizations. As I quote from Mark A. Levin's American Marxism book, mass movements attempt to devour the individual in two ways, consume his identity and uniqueness, thereby making him indistinguishable from the masses, but also assigning him a group identity based on race, age, income, etc. to draw class distinction. This way, the demagogues can speak to the well-being of the people as a whole while dividing them against themselves, thereby stampeding them in one direction or another as necessary to collapse the existing society or rule over the new one. And so by TikTok promoting the content that focuses on mental illness, gender theory, critical race theory, and any other group which claims to be marginalized or oppressed, they are killing two birds with one stone with this tactic. For one, they are hindering the society from the inside out as I described at the beginning of the video. For two, they are using the famous Marxist tactic of assigning group identities to provoke uprisings within these particular groups. It heavily emphasizes the us versus them notion 
turning a nation's very citizens against itself under the guise of social justice and progression. As Levin continues, and who among us is attracted to such mass movements? Again, as I noted, a respective audience is found among the societies disenchanted, disaffected, dissatisfied, and maladjusted who are unwilling or unable to assume responsibility for their own real or perceived conditions, but instead blame their surroundings, the system, and others. So, in other words, this Marxist tactic essentially allows these people a way out of accountability for their own real or perceived misfortunes in real life. It allows one to say, so this is why my life is low quality, etc, etc. As Levin continues, they are lured by the false hopes and promise of utopian transformation and the criticisms of the existing society to which their connection is tentative or non-existent. Again, I must emphasize that the algorithm is intentionally designed particularly this way. The the algorithm for the Chinese TikTok version is completely different. So to conclude, first we establish the close ties that TikTok and ByteDance has with the Chinese Communist Party, which in itself already contains a major privacy threat to any user, but most importantly I wanted to make the incentive clear and that there was some clear relationship. Then we establish how the design of the algorithm was deliberate and how not even China will allow its own citizens to use this version with this particular algorithm. We also establish how obvious the bias towards the Chinese Communist Party was by showing the positive energy section on the Chinese version of TikTok, while the normal version of TikTok contains much more subtle evidence through suppression and promotion of certain types of content. Next, we established how this type of politically biased algorithm could have an extreme influence on the users, particularly through the automatic portion of the brain. And for good measure, we also explored other examples of influence the algorithm could have on users, particularly I zeroed in in the most extreme of the extreme examples, and that is Tourette's. To truly illustrate that if this type of content can influence users that much, then something as minor as a political perspective certainly could. And lastly, we established how the particular type of content that's promoted actually kills two birds with one stone by not only dividing and destroying a nation from the inside out, but by also using famous Marxist tactics. Ladies and gentlemen, ByteDance's TikTok is a propaganda machine. It is the greatest weapon of psychological warfare any nation has ever faced, and worst of all, it is extremely addictive and harmful to your frontal cortex, more so than any other social media app we've encountered. Now, before moving on, just wanted to mention that eDeals is now open for a finite period. You can purchase a membership with the link in the description for only $14.99. All information regarding it can be found on the eDeals website, again, linked in the description. It's an excellent way to help you guys save hundreds of dollars every single month through free food, heavily discounted orders, free Amazon products, in addition to monitors and release info as well well, and much more. Again, the link is in the description below, so feel free to join. And now we're just seeing the start of this. There are kids growing up completely indoctrinated under the TikTok algorithm. I truly find it insane that TikTok has yet to be banned within the United States. However, I do have some suspicions regarding why the executive order to ban it was revoked. It's like when somebody knows that one player on the football team who's taking PEDs is going to cause trouble when they get caught, but it might be good to let them play for a little bit first and help the team score some extra points. But that's not the purpose of today's video. Rather, I just wanted to explain why I believe TikTok is truly the most dangerous weapon of psychological warfare any nation has ever faced. If you made it this far, feel free to subscribe and enable post notifications for more thought-provoking content. In fact, I think you'll like this video right here a lot because like I said earlier, this is only coupled with many other factors. And this video right here will explain many of those other factors. Stay skeptical, stay curious, and until next time.